Uh, you got pretty tight there at the end. Yeah. What's your, your feeling yeah, after yeah. that? Yeah, it was a tight game. Obviously, we gave him a fair start in the first quarter. I think they were 27 up at quarter time, which is uh, far too much. Uh, we had a bit of work to do, come back. And then, uh, you know, they're a pretty good team. They keep, um, they keep fighting, and that's exactly what they did. We knew they would. Uh, we tried to sort of soak up a bit of time out of the clock, but, um, yeah, they still managed to come back. You know, a couple of forward 50 stoppage goals, which they're really good at, and um, the game was tight again. And I thought we handled it pretty well. We had some um, mechanisms, and we've, we've been a little bit inconsistent across the year around handling those uh, um, situations. So to be able to control the ball for a little bit keep ourselves um, defensively safe was was nice. Some big moments like James Bateling's tackle, mm. Tom Gray getting the, the last centre clearance, but you yep. had a lot of centre, centre clearance um, dominance in that last quarter. Yep. You must yep. have been pleased. Yeah, certainly the centre bounce in the last quarter was, well, if we can get that every, every week, it was um, it was brilliant, eight, eight zip. So um, that was nice, our mids, our mids got to work in there. Oh, that, I thought the desperation to after quarter time, the desperation to, to try and minimise Melbourne's damage and get after the ball was far better. And certainly James Peatling exemplified that in the last little bit where he, uh, you know, arguably saved another another entry and, you know, who knows what would have happened on that one. What was the message of quarter time after that pretty slow start? Oh, I just felt like we didn't turn up to play. We weren't really up for the fight. I thought Melbourne were, were dominating the contest, plus 15, uh, pre and post, you know, clearance work. And, uh, and general play contest, they were then able to uncontest and mark the ball the way they wanted. Um, you know, so defensively we were off, and, and we basically didn't handle their pressure and just kept kicking the ball back to them and played a front half game for them, which, you know, that, that was pretty poor. I thought it was one of our poorer quarters for the year. So just drew uh, our guys' attention to, to the issues and a couple of solutions, go back to the plan, and from then on, I thought we did it pretty well. When, when you do that, do you need to get quite emotive with the with the talk, or do you sort of trust the players now to just kind of lock in? Uh, I don't think I was too bad. Um, yeah, uh, you just pick and choose what, whatever the, you feel the group needs. You know, I thought we were a bit asleep, so I was pretty stern with the messaging. But but the guys kind of know the answers, I reckon. Um, you know, we've got a lot of young guys in our team, but we, we've we've rammed out the you know the way that we want to play our system our roles down their throat for a long period of time now it feels like anyway so so they kind of know when it's not working why it's not working and they were able to make the adjustments so you know I was really pleased you know, it's it's a difficult thing against a good side to be, to be able to adjust and get the game back on your terms and, and so our guys did a really good job with that